Google has had a number of near misses with product lineups over the past few years. Things like lackluster quality control or problematic areas have always really let things down a little. 2022 though has seen an inward look and a closer attention to detail paid to those finer little aspects of devices. The Pixel 7 series is a testament to that and somewhat to a greater extent so are the Pixel Buds Pro. This, after so many months, is now our long-term review of Google's premier wireless earbuds. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. So moving away from that thin style shape to a larger bulbous design is not something that I was actually personally eager to switch out to when I first saw the Pixel Buds Pro unveiled on stage at IO 2022. I've always found that while that fin on the Pixel Buds A series and to a lesser extent the 2022 Buds can be uncomfortable for long periods, it always felt secure and over time the rubberized stalks softened, making it easier to bear or almost less noticeable when plugged in your ears. Google's decision to stick with the egg-like charge case though is one of the things that I do love. It's really iconic from afar and I've noticed that the matte finish on my particular Pixel Buds Pro carry case hasn't picked up as much sheen and damage after slipping out and in and out of my pockets over the past few months. I will say it seems to be a little bit more durable. It has taken a beating day to day and one thing I will note is that the, the hinge itself is a little creaky on my unit. This doesn't appear to affect the magnetic clasp that keeps it shut though which is still nice and strong but something I am a little bit wary of the longer that I do use the Pixel Buds Pro and I will report back if something changes but it just sounds a little creaky at this point. Point in time. I will also say that the move to a matte black finish for the most of the chassis with colourful nodes at the top is one that does feel a little bit of odds at, or at least at odds with the Pixel 7 series um, and somewhat more at home with the smaller Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6a specifically with their own two-tone black frame and colourful designs. It's eye-catching, I will say that for sure, with the colour selection spanning bright and colourful to more muted and plain if you do want that fog and the plain black options. Having used the coral colour for the latter part of three months now, I think it's actually quite nice and obvious to people that I have earbuds in my ears. The bright colour being that dead giveaway and something that does indicate to people that I'm walking past or I'm interacting with that I am listening to something. I will say that I'm still not fully convinced by the bean shape of the Pixel Buds Pro. I think that for me, often I just have to readjust when I'm wearing these as to get that like secure fit in my ears. Something I feel like I'm actively fighting to get with the Pixel Buds Pro is that actual perfect seating. And it can be a little bit of annoyance when I was just used to plonking or twisting the previous generation into my ear without a second thought and having that fin fix everything in position. Fitting frustrations aside though, the new design is infinitely more comfortable when sat right in your ears. I've worn the Pixel Buds Pro for upwards of five hours on a lot of sessions over the last three months without any sort of discomfort whatsoever. Usually I'll go and grab my ancient Bose QC35 II when I know that I'll be wearing headphones or earbuds for even longer periods, but for the most part, the biggest com compliment that I can pay the Pixel Buds Pro is that I've been doing that less and less since my review unit arrived at my door. One thing I have noticed though is that the silicon earbud tips, they sometimes do become a little bit unfurled or can snag when removing them from the ears that go inside out. The rubber itself of the silicon buds is thin and soft and it's more comfortable with the added bonus of that extra isolation. You can upgrade these or even switch them out with the particular small, medium and large size in the box, but I'm not sure if this is going to be worthwhile for most people out there. I will say that the audio experience with ANC after months of extensively testing is um, a fairly solid. I can actually vouch for the quality here. The limitations of in-ear earbuds versus over-ear headphones when it comes to noise cancellation are definitely pronounced, but at no point uh, a major frustration with the Pixel Buds Pro. That said, the passive isolation that you can achieve by using this ear tip seal function for testing the uh, ANC feature is actually especially useful and one thing that I would say do that straight away and the mobile phone, your mobile phone, your pixel, whatever it happens to be, will indicate whether you need to adjust that seal or maybe change the earbud tip size. I think for me the biggest test for the Pixel Buds Pro and by extension most earbuds throughout my time using earbuds over the last few years has been going on the London Underground and it's a noisy, clattery environment. 
I've used the Pixel Buds Pro for several hours, multiple times on the underground carriages, and I've been pleasantly, pleasantly surprised because there is just enough dulling of background audio, chatter, all that kind of thing that you can focus on what you're listening to without being truly deafened by that hum or rattle of a train carriage itself. Ordinarily, I'd avoid podcasts in this general or this specific scenario, as there's not enough background audio with spoken word to fill or minimize loud cracks, bumps and rumbles. But I will say that it's something I'm happy to do every time I do head onto a platform. I'm not often whizzing around London though, but the Pixel Buds ANC has passed my own personal proving grounds, I think, with flying colours, and I'm sure it will be okay for most people. I will say day-to-day -day in, in a quiet office environment like here or in, uh, on a scenic walk, the experience is pleasant and I find that the whoosh of passing traffic near a busy road is almost but not completely eliminated in my testing. The transparency mode, I will say, is one of the excellent additions here. It just lets in just enough sound without completely washing out things like music or spoken word audio that you listen to. It's something I use when I do things like waiting in line for a coffee or I'm expecting someone to speak to me and it works flawlessly in my experience. I also got to give a compliment to the touch controls because most of these on Google products are excellent anyway, but they are as good here as they were on previous versions. I'm still not completely sold on touch controls for Bluetooth earbuds as it does create an extra volume there, but these are the best that I've tried by some margin. Even soft or slight taps are recognized and registered, which is ideal if you're commuting or moving around a ton, like in the gym and you just want to tap your earbuds to skip track, pause, or do whatever you need to do. While I can't speak for every single person that has used these earbuds though, I've found the connection strength and consistency to be flawless on the Pixel Buds Pro. At no point have I experienced cutouts or dropped signal, which is something that people with the previous versions, even the Pixel Buds A series, which fix it to a greater extent, have had issues with. I'll also note that the new multi-point feature is something that I've thoroughly enjoyed being baked into these particular earbuds too, although it's nothing new. Being able to link my laptop and my phone simultaneously will always be useful for calls, especially receiving them on the phone, and then switching straight back to listen to Tidal or whatever happens to be on my laptop. As you will probably know, most Bluetooth earbuds live and die by their audio quality, and the Pixel Buds Pro are absolutely no different. They are far from the best sounding earbuds that you can buy right now, that's all I will say. I listen almost exclusively via Tidal and to podcasts using Pocket Casts. Without attempting to list off tracks that you're probably not familiar with, I have found that the Pixel Buds Pro handle most genres really well. Here's the crux of it though, the sound is good enough for most people and I can count myself in that group too, as there's a lean towards the bass and bump treble. The S sounds can hiss a little in my experience and bass can infringe upon tracks sometimes, but overall I've got to say it is a fairly rounded sound for what the earbuds same aim to set out to do. A major sore point though I will say is a lack of truly high quality audio codecs on offer. AAC and SBC are accounted for, but there's no APTX. The former is favored by iPhone and iOS, but the latter is just better for Android users and a prominent absentee and something I'm a little bit frustrated about as it would have been a little bit nicer to have. I do love though that Google has made good on a promise to add an inbuilt equalizer to tune these earbuds on the fly, but it's fairly basic all the same. You can make some fairly standard adjustments and it's done down with default profiles here too if you do want to adjust those. That's great if you're not confident tuning and tweaking. There's also, on top of that, no notable latency when watching things like videos on Netflix or YouTube. And I will say even gaming latency when using the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 7 in the time I've used these seems to be pretty fine, although I'm not much of a gamer. I haven't extensively tested gaming with more devices, but I will say that it seems fine on my Pixel phones so far. Call quality is one of the areas that I'm not always certain of when using headphones or even earbuds without especially that stem microphone that moves it closer to your mouth. The microphone on here sounds fine. It's nothing special and I will say it's been okay for the short calls that I've done with them in my experience. I wouldn't advise though using the Pixel Buds Pro for conference calls unless you have no other option. This is one area I'd really like to see Google up the quality for the next iteration and you can hear a sample of what these sound like right now. So for those wondering about audio quality with the Google Pixel Buds microphone, well, this is a short video shot on the Pixel 7 Pro front facer. You can obviously get an indication of just what the microphone sounds like. Hopefully it's nice and clear. Although then again, the microphone itself is quite far away from my mouth. So hopefully it's picking up everything that I'm saying nice and clearly. But I've noticed that with most phone calls, people seem to be happy with it, but you would be the judge of that. Let me know what you think down in the comment sections below.
The major area that I have been blown away by the Pixel Buds Pro, even when compared to more premium earbuds, is in the improved lifespan. I've only managed to run the battery life in the three months I've had these to, to below that 30% figure on two separate occasions, and that is absolutely exceptional as someone who is a bit of a moderate to heavy user, at least in my book. In terms of hours and minutes, I'm regularly seeing upwards of six hours per earbud. The case adds a few more days of listening for me before I even need to think about putting it on the Pixel stand. And it's a win-win as you never actually need to worry about if you'll run out of power with regular usage. I see that as a couple of hours per day, maybe up to a maximum of four hours of listening. I think if you fall into that camp, this could be among, or these could be among the longest lasting Bluetooth earbuds that you'll probably ever use, at least at this stage of 2022. That's not discounting those of us with headphones or earbuds practically glued in. Even with ANC Active, I'm never thinking about the next charge too drastically. Google's estimated 11 hours per earbud with ANC deactivated definitely rings true in my experiences here. You'll need to determine whether you want an extensive lifespan though, or noise cancelling active and transparency mode available to determine just how long you will garner from these earbuds. So to kind of wrap up this long-term review, I think Google has once again stepped into that premium audio arena. And while there are some undoubted downsides, things are better than ever. Audio quality does remain a little bit of a weak area, although it is absolutely fine. And if you do want the best audio fidelity possible, then you're probably still gonna be looking elsewhere anyway. Cohesion and lifespan are the two areas where I think the Pixel Buds Pro truly excel compared to the competition. The ANC isn't class leading, but it offers a decent dull of background noises to truly be considered a worthy addition to your device. I'm intrigued to see if that upcoming spatial audio function is as good as it's touted to be, but annoyingly, we're still waiting for that to arrive. I don't think the latest made by Google Bluetooth earbuds are the best you can buy, and especially at $199, you can get better audio at a much lower price. Conversely to that though, if you have a Pixel phone, then I think there really are few better partner accessories than the Pixel Buds Pro. You can use them with a non-Google phone, but even if features translate, it's clear to see that these are really designed to be used with a Pixel in mind. And that's an added bonus for people out there. As on top of that, there's the extra, extra Pixels feature drops that will come later down the line, which should bring you extra features and functions. That said, I don't think you should ever buy a tech product on promises of future functions and features, and the Pixel Buds Pro are absolutely no different. I wanna hear from you though. Have you been using the Pixel Buds Pro since launch or even in the recent weeks? How are you getting on and where do you think Google can improve with future releases? Drop a comment down below. It's always interesting to hear your thoughts. But as always, until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.